So I was in a panel there, that's why I'm late, right? Now, um, I'm okay without this and I'm, because I just talk. Basically, what are we going to talk about is, I teach adults and I teach children. And uh, I have seen that there is a way of teaching both, adults and children. In fact, adults also, it's person to person, children as well, it's person to person. What you have seen is, is, this is my world, which was, where I was with uh, billionaires, visionaries, kings, etc. And the learning from that has actually created me. And uh, learning from this world has created a lot of me. I'm an aviator. Uh, I fly small planes. And I'm a communications uh, in aviation and international protocol, royal protocol. I'm born and raised in the state of Kuwait, thanks to my mom, who was a brain doctor. And because of that, I was uh, raised in a different way, and I was also adopted by Sheikh Saad Abdullah Salim al Sabah in the state of Kuwait. And so it is two upbringings, my parents and my foster parents. So learning from a very early age was Listen to yourself. I wasn't raised by a mom or a foster mom who would listen to what the world wants to talk about me. They wanted me to talk about me. And from a very early age, as early as three, I started to develop my innate intelligence. Now, being a, being a brain doctor's daughter you know that innate intelligence is what works in your life finally. All these positions came to me not with the CV. All right? So the CV anyone can create, but we need to create our brain. And that's the messaging to the brain. Today, I'm a chief trainer and co-founder of Smart Inspiration UA Training. And the innate has actually brought in my wealth of knowledge. But what I am today, how do we do this thing? I think I have trouble here. All right, I'm not going to talk with this one. I'll just talk by myself, right? Now, so what, with all the learning that I've had, I've come into a training center where we treat, teach children and adults. We have courses, skill-based courses, right from six to whatever be the age, which are uh, endorsed by government of Dubai. And how did we create the training center? Thanks to my boss here, who is Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Ali, who works for Dubai government. But this has been his vision for the last 20 years that we need to have a different kind of education. The training center does not exclude any student. It's inclusive of all students, whatever be the case. So we actually, how do we evaluate what kind of training is needed? You know, the least age as per KHDA, that's government of Dubai, is six years. So when the parents say he's not listening, he's not doing this, we bring the child in, we ask him a few questions, we give him some coloring to do and some communication to do, and then we understand where the child is. Now, Since it's not working, I cannot show you all the videos nor the podcasts that happen. I would ask you to go to my website, Smart Inspiration UAE Training, and go into the podcast and listen to it. All right, and the same goes with adults as well. Irrespective of the age, we check what is it that they're talking about. All right, since I'm able to do it, these are the people who have added value to my life. The first one should be the middle photograph where I'm standing with Sheikh Ali Jabbar Ahmed al-Sabah. That's the son of the former ruler of Kuwait, whose 
whose father my mother was reporting to as a medical doctor. The first picture on top is Sheikh Talal Mubarak Al Sabah, who was my boss in the state of Kuwait, and I was reporting to him only because after being an investigative journalist and my story on Prince Charles went on the cover, then the aviation took me to stop writing such stories. So Sheikh Talal taught me one thing for eight years, every day before office, unless you're five star on the inside, you cannot showcase five star on the outside. So I actually, as an investigative journalist, flew the world with him, did what he wanted me to do, basically communicating not what I want, but what he wanted me to do. And like that, I learned how to be beyond myself. Because as a journalist, investigative journalist, you're, you're introvert, you're going to make the story. But as an extrovert, when you're in corporate communications, you're making the story with a larger being of yourself. That's called acquired learning. All right? Then you have me there with Sheikha Lubna al Qasmi. So in 2010, Sheikha took me for her international protocol to handle her events. And then at the end, you have me with Sheikh Saud bin Sakhar al Qasmi, the ruler of Ras al Khaimah. I was the director of civil aviation, airport, and airline, reporting to His Highness. Reporting is a skill, writing is a skill, communication is a skill, living in that world of royal protocol is a skill. After all that, I got certified international protocol from the USA. But first was the experience, right? Now, we have two natures within us. We have the innate nature and we have the acquired nature. Today we are part of a training world which is called, which is called behavioral skills. So we actually do bi biometrics to understand the innate nature of the person, where are the competencies, where are the behavioral skills, where are the interpersonal skills, where is the career path going? And after that, we train the person. So many a times we have seen that people who jump into professions and who feel, I like to do this, I like to do this, it's usually they're sitting in their passion. And after some time, the career comes out. And then they'll say, we got fired. No, the passion was only for that much time. The brain will say whether you are uh, going into a crystalline brain or a flexible brain. It's already there when you are born. But acquired, how much of acquired, how much of innate is where we do the analysis and we take the training. Today, our students. So here, and my learning skills are from all this, all right? T today, this is our training center. Smart Inspiration UAE training, boss is here, and our vision is we leave no mind behind. So how did it happen? I was talking like this in uh, Edge Hotel in 2019 to the government of Dubai and was in the audience, and I was talking to them. In between, I was an MC, like all your MCs during the last three days. I was talking to the audience about my encounter with Prince Charles during the breaks. And boss happened to be in the audience. And after that, a few months later, Smart Inspiration UAE came into being. So what's the story? Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Al Ali was searching for a trainer who can make a difference and who cannot be like common trainers for 20 years, and it happened to come up in 2019. From that day, we want to be different. We don't want the normal schooling. We don't want the normal training for children and adults. Because I've been in an industry where I've seen cabin crew commit suicide, pilots commit suicide. The higher they, you go up the ladder, top management has an inclination to get depressed, and therefore, it, the answer is suicide. Now, in the behavioral skill analysis, it will tell you from the beginning, where's your depression level? 
You don't have to find out when you're going to commit suicide. You know why? It's innate. Plus, you trained your brain to think the same thing and therefore now it is programmed for it. The neuroplasticity of the brain already settled in. So somebody has to train you out of it. So our trainings are scientific trainings. We also do cognitive trainings by innate intelligence. Usually I make them talk or write or paint. If you come to our office, there's a lot of paintings. What's not there? And what's there? Children are programmed by the faces of their parents. Emotional brain works for children. If you're happy, your children will talk to you. If you're always grouchy and angry, they're going to go inside. The same with adults in the workplace. Just a happy face, you can. But in the workplace, we will know which position are you fit for. The organization chart is today being done as per the behavioral skills. Not the usual way of psychometrics which they do, where there are, the, there are no indicators. Here there are indicators. And it's trainable. There's no need of hire and fire. You do the, psych, do the behavioral skill analysis through the uh, analysis that we are doing, and then we train them through 30 hours. Tomorrow morning, I have a businessman flying in from Angola for this. So we do have a lot of students in the last two years. Uh, highest on our list is Egypt for certification and children. And the next comes Iraq. And uh, the kind of professions are lawyers, judges, bankers, corporate world. And as of today, it is medical doctors and medical students. What's the one factor that I deal with daily? Fear. Fear is innate. How much is it innate can be conducted through the behavioral skill analysis. How much is it that you got and acquired a learning? That also we can. The fear will not, people, will not allow people to go forward and it also freezes the brain. So if you want to do something, have you seen people running into the washroom before a speech? They get a, bit, they get a bad stomach, right? Now, another thing that we do through biometrics that we do is we also teach them their genetically what's their food plan. Because if, the, if your gut is right, your brain is right. If your gut is wrong, your brain is not working to its full capacity. And that's called psychobiotics. We train and we certify. Of course, it's all from the US. So if you want to analyze yourself, we are there. If you want to anal be an analyst and be useful in corporate, we are there as well. The, all this is very, very essential today because we are in a world that everyone is saying, oh, I'm getting hired and I'm getting fired also. <laughs> How can it be? So we need to know what's our passion. We need to know what's our career. We also need to know, are we left brain? Are we right brain? Are we balanced brain? Are we right brain reciprocate? Are we less brain reciprocate? What's our personality? Are we decisive, methodical? Are we methodical, methodical? Are we expressive, expressive? Hello, the brain tells so many things. And it's all with a very fantastic team of doctors and an algorithm team that sits in different parts of the world that we make this happen. The results are borderline cases, come to us through a psychiatrist and then we train the brain while the medical part is being done by a professional doctor, we train the brain for results. So today in Expo 2020, you have my borderline psychiatric case of 22 year old who is actually a biggest vendor of 2020, Expo 2020. And I have two others who are working for the director general's office in Expo and another in the VP's office. They never had high dreams, by the way. We have to talk to them. We have to show them their analysis and make it happen. Another thing, little children. Actually, you can do this whole analysis right from 17 months when the child opens his hand. We can start from there, but 
as per the permissions of UAE, we have only from six years, there's a lot of growth that happens. You know at that age, which is the first preference of the child, to be a medical doctor or to be an engineer or whatever. Four preferences are shown. And we also train the mothers because whatever is the child is thanks to the mom. Nine months, the mom's emotions have it reflected on the child. In each, each pregnancy is different. The first child will be timid. How many of you are first, first child? You don't talk too much? You talk too much? <laughs> okay, so the first child is timid. The second one is quite brave. How many of you are middle? Any brave ones here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the third one is okay. But if you're going to be a mom or you want to be a mom, just take life challengingly, or the baby will be dumb. <laughs> All right? Now it depends, it, everything depends on the mom. So what happens here? What do, what do we do? How do we know and how do we... Right now we are training moms to be, or moms who are already reached the third week of their pregnancy, because that's when the brain develops to get ready to be right. Right? It's very, very important and we, have, we are actually facing this. We are training them. And by the way, we do one-on-one -on -one training. We don't do mass and class because... Not my world. I, was, I come from a hybrid world. Classroom and then Sheikha will teach me or Sheikh will teach me. My mom will teach me. So I come from a hybrid world. And in those days, I'm talking about the state of Kuwait. That, that means about 1984. All right? So it's there. It's there. And we all are intelligent. We all are genius. There's no labeling and there's no judgment. Now you must be wondering... How did, how did an Indian girl get into all those positions? It happens. So we are five of us. But my mom, and I'm a twin, but my twin is not like me. So again, it's the mom. <laughs> the mom is the brain doctor, but only one got it. Yeah? So it depends on the mom. It, it's 100% the mom. Because she was over-anxious, so the father's 70% didn't come up. But if the mom was a cool mom and fully getting the cooperation of a husband, the father's traits also will come in. Anxiety is something we now, which our metrics show. Anxiety level 1, 12, anger level, depression level, tact and tactfulness. They love to keep it inside but still smile and say, okay, hi, that's there. So in a corporate barometer, if these things are followed correctly, we don't have to be fired. We put the right person on the right seat. These are my uh, students, by the way. Oops. These are my students. Amazing. This is the report that comes out. Now, all this nine multiple Intelligence is there in everybody, but there, the barometer shows, is it crystallized intelligence? Is it fluid intelligence? Where it is? Now here I'm going to tell you a secret. If that's the scientific side and everyone doesn't want to agree to the scientific side or their rigid minds, then we do the holistic training. It already shows that mathematics is there in an inborn, so we can we do a different science called switch words and energy circles, which hits the binary system of the innate. So we can transform minds like that. I think I have to close because... Well, I wanted to talk to you about this student of mine who's just amazing. He's now six years, but I think we are running out of time. And this student is the one who came out of her uh, depression. It, you can listen to it in the podcast of Smart Inspiration UA Training. Can't do much here. These are my professionals who are nobodies. Now the first one, as you can see, she's in Jalila Hospital. She's still a student, medical student. But she is the emergency doctor of Jalila Hospital, which belongs to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. And this is my first student of the training center 
who never did anything until she came in and today she is the best performance every month for a billionaire property company we don't have time for the video Any questions for Ms. Percy? Yes, right here at the front, Ms. Percy. Thank you very much, Ms. Elizabeth. Um, just two questions. Um, one of the, from where I come from in Nigeria, one of the things, or one of the countries that we look up to a lot is the US and UK, but mainly the US through their media and all of that. And um, something that we have noticed in the past year or the past few years, um, is that there's a lot of depression and also issues of mental health. Um, last year, so there was something called the Great, um, the great Resignation, so where so many um, young people were leaving their jobs post-COVID. And in the past few years, also issue of mental health, uh, we see somebody that just goes into a church or a mall and then just starts shooting. Yeah. And we see that, so we recognize that issue of mental health is a big issue. I mean, it's a big problem right now. Um, to what extent does what you are doing now address mental health and depression? And then the final question is that for the industry and what I'm trying to do in education, um, three things, which is within an education, but also with entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial thinking. There are three main challenges that many professionals face. Even I have faced it before. Number one is fear, which you mentioned earlier. Yes. Number two, doubt. And number three, procrastination. So to what extent do you um, help professionals with such issues uh, beyond just what people typically do? They go to Tony Robbins um, <laughs> conferences and things like that. So it's, a, yeah. it's very valuable and valid. The first thing is uh, the RGBA analysis actually shows your depression level between 1 to 12. And you don't have to wait when you're 16. It'll show it as early as 17 months. All right? And the earlier you start detecting these things, we can train the parents, and that will make a difference. Especially it's a feeding baby, breastfeeding baby. The mother's food has to be taken care of so that we can... Because she wouldn't have had the certain foods or she was on certain medical prescription, the baby will adopt from that. And that's where we help out. The second one, during crisis is when we opened. During COVID is when we opened and we had awarded since two weeks before COVID and then we were... So, uh, in COVID, our cases were the worst. Today, they are the best. So people got real in COVID. Yes, COVID was not a good thing, but people became seriously aware of themselves in COVID. And they got into the game of learning who they are and getting real with who they are. The corporate world has put so many masks on us. Okay? But the mask will fall when you're stressed. And the biometrics will show you your anger level, your stress level, etc., Simple thing like uh, uh, having an activity, physical activity, is sufficient for many children to get, uh, to get good marks. The same thing for adults as well. If they have no physical activity, but their scaling shows their adventure is high, then they are misusing that uh, mobility activity, kinesthetic activity, and therefore the brain won't work well to the 100%. It also shows about mental tiredness. People give up because of mental tiredness. So then we change the food plan. It's all about food. Say, mom first, yes. <laughs> it's about food. We get you right, so you get going. Uh, what we have seen is uh, little children do well because the physical activity is shown, but parents say, no, no, you have to study, it's exam time. No, they do well. Even in exam time, they go and play something and come back. They do well. And the third question was? Yeah, um, handling as a professional, handling, not just as a professional, but also students, handling fear, yeah. doubt, yes. and procrastination. Those are very... Now, this is a... Life, thank so. you. 
This is a, this is a brain type, okay? So we will know this is left brain, is the person right brain, the, the algorithm will show. Is the person balanced brain? Is it reciprocate left? Is it reciprocate right? It will also show the personality. Are they decisive, methodical? Are they methodical? Methodical means their left brain, they go one, two, three, four, five. Now if they are making wrong decisions, we will turn them from method, we will make them methodical, decisive, other, rather than decisive, methodical. So it is all a training of 30 hours. And they will start to perform. Of course, there is physiological training, the training of the mind, nutritional training, and there is also something called grounding, which I do that make them walk on grass without footwear, hug the tree, anxiety drops to zero, go for swimming, the whole brain works, go for languages. We, most of our students, we, if they are not completely working with the brain and it shows linguistic in the inborn, it is very high, then we send them for German, to learn German. Ger the entire brain works when you learn German. We also have other cases other than this, people who, are to, who stammer, people who stammer. It's, yes, it's an uh, emotional thing, but it's, it's also a scientific thing, the link between the brain and the tongue. So we have some classes which is called tongue twisters. We, we do for them for 30 hours. Now it actually opens the axis. So it's, it's a learning. Our uh, certifications are given. Our trainers also get trained and we give them cases in my supervision and then only. Whether they will deal with six year old or a 30 year old or a 45 year old depends on who, how my trainers can take it. Now for me, there's a little bit of innate learning because my mother was a brain doctor, so I have that genetics in me. But yes, I do a lot of intuitive learning as well. Being a pilot, I have my passenger's responsibility. And being in different industries and with royalty and corporates and billionaires, I must say I didn't go the grass root up, I stayed on top. Now that's the learning because you can sit on the seat, but you can get dropped. Now what does that happen? Why does it happen? You need to be conscious of your negative side and the report shows the negative side. You have to take care of it or you'll push back, okay? So we, we need to be very conscious beings and we would have sorted ourselves out. I'm very proud of my students because of whom I'm standing here today. Had it not been for them and had we not proven their lives to take into a different level, today we won't be here. Thank you, And Ms. we are Chris. still under clinical research. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Ms. Percy.